Alright, I'm back with another GM mode, and one thing I never did, which I don't know how I forgot, was I forgot to look at the stats. Now, uh, a few things, uh, jo Jamie Ben didn't have a very good season because uh, he was hurt most of the time, but I think he would have been right around Tyler Sagan numbers, but for these two only getting just over 70 points uh, in a season playing together, that's that's unacceptable. They, uh, they need another good scoring winger which I hope we can get in Nichuskin or Johansson. And, uh, yeah, they, overall, it's just not a very good season. I mean, Brett Ritchie playing on, for the most part, the uh, the fourth line until, like, the last five games. He got moved up to the second. Uh, yeah, just, again, not a, not a good season of, uh, overall. Now, if I go to goalies, uh, I can't see how Antti Niemi did, but... Uh, to compare him to Kari Lettinen, but uh, I I really hope I can get rid of Kari Lettinen and let Vasilevsky start uh, being the starter and maybe get another goalie who is like 81, maybe 82 overall, who has good potential because he's only a low starter. I'd like to get somebody who has like high elite, or not high elite, uh, has elite or like something higher than low starter. Uh, oh, and I wanted to, uh, show the league stats and, uh, all the trophies, so let's do that entire league. There we go. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, let's take a look at goalies first. Um, wins, wins, wins. Devin Dubnik with 43, wow. Uh, Jonathan Quick, Mark andre Fleury, Corey Schneider all had more than 40 wins, so that, that's fantastic. Um, goals against, who had the best? Uh, it's gonna be skewed, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Corey Schneider is looking like the only st is looking like the st uh the best starter. Average letting in only two goals a game. That's that's really good. Seventy two starts. And uh, save percentages. Uh, with the best who uh best starter being Ben Scrivens with Edmonton. Wow, eighty eight overall. Yeah, I don't remember what he started out as, but man, he's grown. And Corey Schneider just behind him, just a just a hair behind with a uh, .932. Scrivens with .933. Man, wow, that's fantastic. And uh, if I go to players, we can see who uh, led the league in scoring. Uh, uh, let's start out with goals. Goals: John Tavares with 43, Sagan with 40. Malkin and Crosby each with 35. That that's pretty good. 98 overall. Oh my god. Just an amazing player. Ah, Skinner with 33. Uh no, no Ovechkin. Kessel only getting 28 with his new teammates. Uh wow. Yeah. So there are the goals. And go to points. John Tavares leading with 90 points, getting it all done himself. 43 goals, 47 assists. Man, he's just a fantastic player, and he's still growing, too. Uh, Sidney Crosby, 87, and then Malkin was 70. Jesus. Not a whole lot of scoring, but this is, this is realistic. Uh, not too many guys are point of game players. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how the, uh, the scoring looks. Man, I gotta look at I gotta look at Ovi. How many goals did he have? Uh, did he? Where is he? Oh my God! He played six games. Oh my God! What happened to him? <laughs> He only played six games. Oh, man. He must have, like, tore his ACL or something. Jesus, that must suck. Man, his overalls dropped to uh, 89. It started out as, like, a 93 or something like that. Man, the Capitals must have struggled without him. <sighs> All right, and uh, awards. Here we go. Stanley Cup, obviously won by the Pittsburgh Penguins. They have a fantastic team. It It's fitting. The Minnesota Wild win the uh, the President's Trophy, so uh, Devin Dubnik really uh, 
full season with him. That he just must have done fantastic. And uh, the Blackhawks played against the Pittsburgh Penguins and ended up losing. Uh, in a second, I'll take a look at the uh, the playoff tree because I forgot to do that too. Uh, the Art Ross goes to John Tavares. Uh, God, 90 points. He's leading this team. He's just doing everything. The Hart goes to Corey Schneider. Second year in a row, it goes to a goalie. That's, wow. Hmm. Uh, Jim Norris, or yeah, the Norris Trophy goes to uh, P.K. Subban. Getting his second, second of his career. Yeah. And he's a fantastic defenseman. The Lady Bang, <laughs> won by Phil Kessel. Uh, the Calder, Jack Eichel. So Eichel having a better season than McDavid. I wonder if that'll happen in real life too. You never know. Conn Smythe, ooh, Flurry. That's surprising. Flurry was the best player in the playoffs. Well, you know what? The the goalies generally tend to win it in uh in the NHL games, but uh oh well. I don't know if uh Crosby maybe should have won it or not, but Corey Schneider wins the Vesna. Finally. Uh, last year, I don't know how many Vesna votes he got. Uh, if he if he even got any, it wasn't it wasn't very high. But uh he wins the Vesna. Over Carey Price, uh, Devin Dubnik. You know, I'll, uh, I know Dubnik had a good season. I don't know about Carey Price. Probably just didn't have the wins. Uh, the Jennings goes to Corey Schneider as well. The Bill Masterton Trophy won by Alex Petrangelo. I don't even know how they uh, how they select this, so uh, this trophy really doesn't mean too much to me. Uh, the Selkies won by Taves. Uh, Bergeron and Taves, uh, two of the best defensive forwards or two-way forwards in the game uh Jonathan Tay has probably just just edged out Bergeron for it Corey Schneider wins the uh Ted Lindsay award and the Rocket Richard is won by Jonathan Tavares ending Ovi's streak <laughs> god I feel bad for him he only had three goals god that mm, or two goals something like that only played six games that, that's disappointing I really hope that doesn't happen to any superstars in today's NHL. But, oh, oh, crap, I forgot. Um, uh, playoff three, there we go. All right. So, Chicago played Nashville. Calgary played Minnesota. L.A. played the Oilers. So, Oilers made the playoffs. First year with McDavid. <laughs> and San Jose against the Blues. So, Chicago won. Calgary won. L.A. won. San Jose won. Calgary against the Flame, or Calgary against Chicago. Uh, Chicago ended up winning in a Game 7. That's that's two Game 7s in a row. Uh, San Jose against LA. San Jose wins in 5. Chicago wins again in 7 against uh, against San Jose. And uh, in the East, Pittsburgh against New Jersey. Rangers against Carolina, making the playoffs for some reason. Montreal-Boston, who that'd be a good matchup, even going 7 games too. And uh, Philly against Detroit. Uh, Pittsburgh winning in six, uh, Rangers in six, Canadians in seven, and Flyers in five. Uh, the Penguins win uh, in a game seven against the Rangers. <laughs> the Rangers, can't, again, can't pull through in a game seven. The Flyers sweep the Canadians, which is surprising, but you get a good matchup in the finals. Uh, Flyers, Penguins, again, just fantastic matchup. Uh, Pittsburgh pulls it out in seven. And uh, Pittsburgh against the Chicago Blackhawks. Pittsburgh wins in five. So they uh, they didn't even give them a chance. Because they knew if Chicago went to seven, they'd probably win it. <sighs> Alright. Let's get into the draft now. I uh, hmm, I don't know if I should... Uh, oh god, it starts right away. Um, I don't know if I should make a trade with Kari Lenton or not. Or uh, maybe trade Goligowski. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna look around and uh see what I could potentially get for him. So uh where's Goligovsky? Oh, is this contract up? Aw oh, man, I should have traded him. Let's look at defense just to be sure. Um yeah, his contract's up. Well, I wish I could have gotten something for him, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we don't have too many, eh, we got a couple potential guys, but, uh, nothing elite like Klingberg. 
And uh, goalies. Is Kari Lightning signed? So I can trade him. Oh, we got Jack Campbell in the minors too. He could be our backup. So let's see what I can get for Kari Lightning. Um, any team that wants him right now. No teams are in need for a goalie, according to their trading block. But, uh, I kind of have an idea of what teams don't have a goalie. Uh, hmm. How about... Hmm. Oh, how about Toronto? Let's see if I can get, a like a third or something from them. Throw, uh... Kari Lenton in, in the mix, trying to uh, help those two out. Create a uh, goalie controversy. <laughs> uh, can I get a second from the Maple Leafs? Let's try that. Proposed trade. Alright, sweet. So I got a second from the Toronto Maple Leafs for Kari Lenton. In. And uh, is there anybody else I want to get rid of? Uh, anybody super old? Um, oh, do ya? But he doesn't have very good trade value. I would love to get rid of his contract, too. Oh, do ya and Morin. I eh, know Morin can say. He's he's helping out in the minors, and he's happy, too. Um, yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, let's just continue the draft. Uh, simulate up to my pick, which, uh, where do I pick? Pick fifth overall. Ooh, <laughs> All right, uh, sim options, sim to user pick. I wonder if I can get Sean Day. That'd really help out the back end. Ooh, Chichurin goes first. Austin Matthews, Benson, I don't know his first name, and uh, Krisky. So, uh, uh, Sean Day is available right now, but I'm going to see, uh, see who else there is. All right, um, let's go to projected first. at all god this takes forever though. there's so many picks all right so the person i was thinking of is sean day and it says exact and it says he's got top four potential so uh, i don't think i'm gonna go with him but i would love to get a defenseman and there's these these guys i didn't i didn't scout this guy at all i'm guessing because it says unknown he's got low 7d and uh he's got uh ahl top two um, do I take a risk on the, uh, on the unknown guy or go for the offensive defenseman and, uh, yeah, they don't really know anything about this guy. His shooting is five stars and his skating is five stars. Uh, but that might just be something that they have there. Um... Wow, this is a tough decision. I think, uh, uh, I don't want to make a mistake. I think I'm going to go with this green because he's projected top five. He's an offensive defenseman. Him and Klingberg together would do good in the future. So I'm going to go with Luke Green as my first round pick. Make your pick and top four. Ugh, God, I made a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. All right, uh, let's simulate up to the next user pick, which it should be in the second round. Because, yeah, second round, first overall. Wow, did I lose the, uh, oh, God, I must have lost the lottery. Wow, that sucks. All right, so I get the first pick in the second round. Who am I going to choose? If this would load, here we go. All right, let's go to project it again. God, this takes forever to load. All right, um, we can. Ooh, Julian Gauthier is still available. Um, and uh, this Martin guy. I think I feel safer with Julian Gauthier because oh, another offensive defensive defenseman. You know, I have two picks. 
hopefully if I, I'll pick Martin out and if Gauthier is still available, I'll pick him. If not, uh, I'll go after somebody else then. So F Martin, who is this? Francis Martin, offensive defenseman. <sighs> yep, let's go with him. Make my pick. And uh, top six defenseman, so maybe not the best. All right, so yeah, I, okay, no, the first overall pick was, uh, must be what I got from uh, Toronto. Oh, that's nice. All right, um, let's simulate to my next pick. Uh, is he available? Ah, no, Julian Gauthier was taken right after that. Um, all right, so let's, let's make a pick. <sighs> Who am I going to choose? You know, we, uh, I think we're set offensively for picks, especially with Pavel, or with, uh, prospects, because I traded for Pavel Zaucha, got him. And we still got, uh, Tyler Sagan and Jamie Ben, who are still really young. So I'm going to try and go after another defenseman. And then after that, I'll look for uh, maybe some forwards to draft. Um, you know, this guy's unknown. So like that, uh, I don't, I kind of don't want to do that. But the next, uh, the next defenseman that is here is an AHL 7 defenseman. So I don't know. I'm going to sort by potential. Uh, ooh. Oh, I got some 7th here. I think I might go with Clapperton, another offense defenseman. It's low for 7th, so that means he could gr it could be even higher. Then again, it could also be lower. I think I'll take the chance with him. I would love to draft this guy, but he's a playmaker with bottom 6 potential, and they pretty much know where he's going to be. So I'm going to go with Clapperton. Love that name, too. <laughs> All right, uh, and he's a uh, medium top six. Okay, so I'm just trying to, I guess, mold out my defensive core. And uh, these uh, picked three defensemen in a row. All right, so uh, I'm going to simulate to uh, the next pick. Or simulate to my pick, my next pick. Whoops, there we go. All right, hmm. Wow, uh, the Red Wings traded for Mark Streit, and Joel Ward was traded to the Flames. So we got a pick in the fourth round now. I think after this, I'm just going to simulate the draft. So 95th overall, who are we going to pick? Uh, I'm just I'm going to sort by potential, just take the best, best potential guy available. All right, so there's still this this defenseman available. I think I might go with him. Just because all these guys, they have uh, all this high potential for uh, AHL players. And I'd rather not have that. So, uh, Hajek, Hajek, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he's going to be my fourth round pick. And with that, oh, he's a seventh, he didn't go up anymore. You could still you could still be higher. So, and with that, I'm gonna simulate the to the end of the draft. And all right, draft is now complete. These are our picks. We got Green, Martin, Clapperton, Clapperton, Hajek, Hodge, I don't know, Rankin, and Smith. There we go. So I want to take a uh, a look at just uh, I'm not gonna quite resign anybody yet i'll take a look at the contracts and uh take a look at all of our guys potentials and stuff like that and see where we're at now after the draft so potential it's our main roster right now we got ooh, we got five elite players reed boucher he's a low elite uh john klingberg who is a low elite Pavel Zaucha, a high elite, and Jimmy Ben and Tyler Sagan, who are also high elites. Um, Pavel Zaucha and Reed Boucher, obviously, uh, Reed Boucher will probably be on the team. Pavel Zaucha probably won't be because of his low overall. And uh, no franchise players, unfortunately. That'd be nice. But we got Brett Ritchie, uh, Antoine Roussel, uh, Ekin Nachuskin. Who should make the team as top six potential forwards? 
Dickinson. Marcus Johansson really dropped. He's unhappy, but uh, once once I get his morale up, because I think we're going to have a fantastic season, hopefully, uh, his overall should jump right back up to where it was before. Hopefully. Still not quite sure how this uh, morale works exactly. So I, I just got to go with it. Is Green a top four? Martin, top six. Clapperton, top six. We also have Julius Honka, who is a top six. So I think we're set for defensive <laughs> potential. Alexiak and Joe Kipaka are also not happy. I mean, yeah, we had a losing season, but I uh, can't let that get to you. Um, yeah, we got some bottom six potential guys. Uh, seventh defenseman, and that rounds it up for who's on our roster now. I don't like how they uh set this up, cause it, it shows Reed Boucher in the system. I don't I don't know why. Uh, yep, these are potential. This is how we go by potential, I should say. Um, I think we're I think we're gonna do all right next season. I really hope we do better, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see once once we get there. All right, so uh, ooh, and we can go to player morale. Oh, they're probably not happy that I trade Letton in a way. Jokey Paka, tough pill to swallow. That was a hard decision. I'm sorry it affected you in that way. No, oh, great. I wish that would have helped. Okay, let's take a look at the current overalls. All right now, uh, Jamie Ben isn't happy. So his overalls dropped a little bit. Klingberg isn't happy. So his overalls dropped. Um, more and you're probably going to be in the minors. Doesn't matter. Uh, Nemeth is disgruntled or disengaged. Oduya's disgruntled. 77 overall now. Joki Pak is a 75. Um, yeah, it's just the. Uh, I figure once I. And maybe it, like if I call up Patrick Eves, he'll be fine. He'll be happier. Moen and Johansson, just because they're in the minors right now. I gotta wait for the season to start though. Jordy Ben, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Maybe he'll play this year. Maybe not. Uh, Alexiak also disgruntled. Uh, we need to have a good season this year, or else we're gonna start losing, losing some people to uh, free agency definitely. I think even this year we might, just because they're so unhappy. But uh, that I guess that wraps it up for for now. Next time I'll get to the contracts, and uh, we can re-sign everybody and get right to uh, the start of the season. I'll see you.